Welcome back to Factorio C Block and TSM episode number 276. Uh, and we are working on the silver, um, what are they? Silver zinc batteries. Um, yeah, or trying to. Um, you don't currently have something coming. Um, I think I would quite like these to get filled out sometime soon. Uh, 014, okay, we might have to get rid of some of these soon. Um, right, that's what we're getting, good, good. Um, <clears throat> so, silver comes to here, turns into process silver. Process silver gets turned into silver nitrate. Um, then, what's next? Um, we need sodium hydroxide. Okay. And uh, we can get that from saline water. We don't have a source of pure sodium. Or the sodium hydroxide solution. Um, interesting. Uh, okay, none of those are very good options unless I need um, unless I need the chlorine. I suppose we could always get rid of it. Or, unless I go over to carbon, where we're making, we're basically doing that recipe, we're making sodium hydroxide, um, and maybe any that isn't being used could be um, bled off and picked up. That is potentially an option. We'd probably have to get rid of this thing. And that's a lot of stuff sitting in there. Um, I could always put one of my recycle stations in, get rid of that, and then... Um, uh, build a sodium hydroxide. Since we've done all the work for it here. Um, seems silly not to. That is a hell of a lot of stored up resource. Uh, it would also help us in production of the chlorine if we were to do this. So it does seem like a good idea. Uh, I've got to head to carbon. My new faster legs, maybe it won't take so long. Maybe I should look to keep pushing that a bit further. I am about 50% faster than I was um, prior to the um, upgrade that we have done. Okay, now, if I can remember correctly, um, what we do is we turn this into a requester che uh, chest, a requester station. Um, and I think, um, I use, like, the symbol. Train counters. There's no station list on this, so... I don't actually know how that worked. Huh. Um... Rubbish. Uh, it's been a while since I did this. Um, 
is something that stands out as being kind of different. This is weird as train counters with nothing. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Probably need to get rid of it. Um. Uh, sorry about that. And to continue, um, maybe my recycle train um, got slightly messed up uh, when I upgraded and lost icons and things. Um, uh, so I want to know if there's a recycle... Um, why would I use train counters for that? I'm not sure. Uh, we're looking for recycle. Recycle waiting. Now, train counters are there. Recycle waiting, okay. They shouldn't actually appear in that. Oh no, that's fine in that list. Okay, recycle waiting. So um, we, can, we can use that as our input. Uh, I don't need this red. Um, oh, I need one of these. Hmm. Um, so, basically, it's if anything is greater than zero, output a P, and this is um, trains on the way is less than P, and then, not sure why I'm using train counters for this, but let's use train counters, and here it comes. And you guys, good, nothing. So that will get rid of this. Um, I don't know if this is going to be enough sodium hydroxide or not, but it is easier than having to. Uh, you are definitely. Yeah, you're coming right. Okay. It is definitely. What? What, <laughs> what the hell was that? Getting to. What? Um, did I not actually give that a weight condition? Ah, I didn't give it a weight condition. No, we don't want until full. We want until inactivity. That's what we want. So it didn't have a weight condition. Um, it's on its way back. Okay. One quick lap around here. It still didn't stop? What the? <laughs> you moronic train. What is wrong with you? Um, that's not even the right train. Okay. So, this time we have a weight condition. Okay, so it must have just been 
A split second too slow on that the first time. Good grief. <laughs> Ten minutes in, we've done nothing. I seem to have a child in the background, apologies for that. A child in the background making a bit of noise. Um, hopefully you can't hear it. That's better. This was a little bit too much for me to carry, so yes, we needed that to happen. And off you go, good, good, goodbye. Um, and all the rest of this stuff as well. Uh, oh, we probably need some of that actually. Um, There, that's better. Now, um, a standard exit is going to cause a small amount of drama here with this pipe. Um, I could probably move the pipe. Up to there. I may even just use a titanium pipe there, because why not? go um, now an exit here uh, which will be very akin to one of these So this is yellow belt. Ah, okay. Um. I must have had some for some reason. Are you actually inside somebody's zone? Oh, we had another. <laughs> we had a, a double up in these uh, guys anyway. Um, I don't think it is worthwhile um, trying to specifically worry about all of that. Um, it can't even work out how many of those it needs. Why don't I just call up my train? Uh, where's it going? It's going up here. Call up my train. 
um, order in say 200 of that and just restock everything and then I should be good. So take me to the make everything. Every time I do this, I think, well, you know, if I had a little blueprint of a neat little thing that I just run into and it automatically calls the train and takes me to the make everything, it would save me a little bit of time in the long run. <laughs> but um, I also have to take a diversion from getting on with finishing this off, so. Um, now, I'm not going anywhere till I have my blue belt and until I have yellow belt. Uh, it's saying it can't fit at all. Do I really need to be carrying pump fours at the moment? Probably not. Uh, I probably don't need 2,000 landfill at the moment. Oh, it's trying to fill me up to 5,000. Why don't I push this back to, whoops, not zero, 1,000. Um, we've only got a hundred of that belt. Oh, I've somehow ended up with yellow inserters. Um, I'm picking up yellow inserters. That's why I'm getting yellow inserters. I don't want any yellow inserters, thanks. Uh... Yes, finally. Okay. Done. Right. Um, let us get rid of that one. Take me back up to here. And we'll fix up this sodium hydroxide. The other thing we need to check on is that crystal catalyst. But I'll do it after we've had the train ride because I... Too often start looking at something else and forget that I need to jump off the train and um, it, I <laughs> need to redo the ride. So let's let's not do that this time. Uh, okay, good. Uh, let's check that crystal catalyst now. There it is. Uh, this is dropping. This is dropping. Maybe it is getting under control. Even if this is uh, six and a half hours and this is six hours, it was five and now it's three. So it is remotely possible it's coming under control. Uh, that's slightly awkward, isn't it? Um, we all just have to upgrade it slightly. Now, down here, obviously it's not red. We are talking about sodium hydroxide um, and all these filters need to be sodium hydroxide clearly. Uh, and we will need some priorities for sodium hydroxide. We actually have some. That's interesting. I didn't realize. Um, but do I have any sodium hydroxide? I actually already have it. So maybe I don't even need to do this. Hmm. All right. Never mind. We now have a second um, <laughs> source of sodium hydroxide. Um, and I will pretend those 10 minutes never happened and just go back to our uh, silver zinc batteries and order in sodium hydroxide. And that will be that. How many of these have we got? We've got 2,000. It's interesting that it's come to a halt. We're going to have to check what's caused that as well. Um, that's satellites. This is the... The zinc thing. Um, 
So we're already ordering sodium hydroxide as P. Um, and we've asked it to come. Uh, do we have an issue with sodium hydroxide being able to get here or not get here or something? Uh, probably needed that. I might have to look up the train. Uh, sodium, that's probably that one. Waiting at supply. Sodium hydroxide. Uh, there's an empty request only. There is no full request, apparently. Even though... Um, even though we have this and we have this condition, P is met, no sodium hydroxide. Well, that's saying, well, it should have added it in here. Uh, I am therefore a little confused. How about we get rid of that? Um, trains on the way is less than P. Uh, order, sodium hydroxide. It's on its way. Um, weird, weird. Okay, so, if we have sodium hydroxide, what exactly does that mean in terms of zinc? Um, yeah, that's, I think we want to go silver oxide, don't we? Uh, I might have to jump back to um, the battery. That. Oh, we need sodium hydroxide in the main, oh, silver oxide, okay, yes. So we need sodium hydroxide for that, and we need it in the final step. So we're trying to make silver oxide, okay. And we do this in chemical plants. Uh, okay. I don't know how much I want to expand these. I need to leave some room so that I can. So what I might do is just bring this in now. Um, and then chemical plants. Let's assume I'm going to need a couple of them. Um, Silver oxide. Uh, silver oxide. Um, it might just be easier to look for this. Um, it's under metallurgy. Okay, silver oxide. Uh, and this takes like five seconds to make one. That's kind of slow, isn't it? Um, this is kind of in the way. <laughs> uh... Now, if I can, no, I can't because of where I've put these. Never mind. I will put in um, the sodium hydroxide up here. 
and we need to run this so that it basically comes down comes down like so then these guys obviously are going to need like four of these things you're going to be picking up from there you're going to pick up from there and the whole lot's going to get power like so um, and that will give us silver oxide which can go on a belt Um, then, uh, next step, silver oxide, silver zinc battery, um, how many of these do we actually need? 50, we need a lot, but we only need this sort of every... A uh, few minutes, so like 20 a minute or one every three seconds would probably do. Um, being able to fill the demand of um, at most two of these would be totally sufficient uh, where are they they're not there come on where would fancy batch they have to be made in chem plants or something do they yeah chem plants okay a uh, chem plant. So what was the speed on it? It was five seconds, but we have a thing that runs at three. So yeah, one of these should be sufficient. Um, and the inputs we need are the zinc plates, the silver oxide, zinc plates, sodium hydroxide, right? So this gets continued. Uh, the zinc plates that we were making, because this is actually zinc, not this at all. Um, molten zinc. And these guys are, we're producing zinc plates. Uh, and if I need to, I'll whack a few more of these down, but Otherwise, um, otherwise, we are basically trying to get to here for zinc. Um, so that's three, and then we need plastic bar. Uh, which can come in here. And of course at this point we run out. Um, I think I will just give this a little bit more room. Have I ordered plastic? I have ordered plastic bar and I have plastic bar, good. Actually, I'm using plastic bar. Oh, none of these have been given anything. Okay, fine. I'm using plastic bar in so many places. I could pre-copy one. <laughs> uh, there we go. And...
pick up from there. And that will enable us to drop off silver zinc batteries there. And actually these don't end up being nearly as hard as we thought they were gonna be. Uh, you don't actually, oh, 8K, really? Oh, these only stacked 8K anyway. I probably don't need so many plastic here, all things considered. Um, So we've got the zinc, we've got the sodium hydroxide, we've got this one, uh, we've got the silver, we've got the plastic. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. The zinc is the one that is proving difficult at the moment. Um, and we need a battery pickup. Uh, what is it? Fifth, is it 50 batteries per those? So I'm probably only going to produce like 500, a train that only does like 500. Maybe what we can do is just have a single line coming straight up here. Um, a little bit like one of these, in fact a lot like one of these. Huh, interesting. I guess they will do. And the rest of this is just we need one of these basically uh probably one of needs to be on the opposite side which means so far I haven't seen one this one perhaps right that's correct um, that no longer serves any useful purpose There we go, that's making the nitric acid. need to be processed silver, not this one. Uh, that would be a lot better. We're completely out of these. Um, I don't need to be collecting yellow belts anymore. Uh, what else? What else for silver zinc? Um, oh, here. Um, and you need some power. Uh, 
But yeah. Um, you need power. Oh, and you need inputs. That actually powers everything. Uh, quick check on um, the crystal catalyst. It's still three. So we probably are gonna have to push that shortly. Uh, we need a train, but we haven't provided trains anywhere, so we don't need to worry about it that much. I could move this so that it goes straight down. I guess it doesn't make any difference though. Um, okay, that's silver zinc. What is in here? The radio thermoelectric generator. I'm gonna turn you guys off. I probably don't have enough of this to usefully um, fill it up, but No, I did not. Um, do I have another one? I do actually. Slightly awkward location. Hopefully that will sort it out. Um, okay, ingredients for the radio thermoelectric uh, generator. Um, this one is the only problem. I mean, obviously we don't have a train delivering this stuff and we're gonna have to increase the output of it. Uh, let's just have a look what, what oh, power's doing almost nothing. <laughs> Yeah, we're not we're not pro progressing very well as a consequence of that missing um, uh, the green thing, crystal catalyst. That's uh, causing us some issues, but never mind. Uh, at the very least, it's very clear that we're going to need um, one of these. I'll copy this one, I guess. And before it does anything, let's try and remove those guys. Um, now, uh, we could let this fill out now. <laughs> uh, very good. They're probably all getting sorted. Um, oh, I'm out of landfill. That is one problem turning this on when there's still landfill to go. Uh, okay, products. So plutonium-239, um, aluminium plate and lead plate. That We already got an order for aluminium plate. This one we should order in lead plate. I very much doubt I'm going to need 16,000. Uh, maybe I will with aluminium, but lead we're probably not, which is a shame in a way because we hardly use lead. Um, so that's these two. And then the sodium cobalt, tate, tate, cobble tate, something. <laughs> something unpronounceable. Um, cobalt oxide. This has some interesting byproducts. Other than that, there's very little of interest here. Cobalt oxide. I don't know if, whoops, I don't know if cobalt oxide is something in our list anywhere. 
Cobalt Oxide. It's interesting the sodium cyanide is in there. Um, cobalt Oxide, there it is. Nope. It's not, so... Um, that means we will have to manufacture it. Process cobalt and limestone. Um, I know I'm making limestone. I think. Uh, we're certainly not delivering process cobalt, so we'll have to get raw cobalt in. Um, let me check the limestone. Limestone, yes. Let me check the supply of limestone. That suggests yes. Um, so. I don't know how much we're gonna need. Limestone, make it 8,000 for now. Um, and we are going to need raw cobalt. Um, cobalt ore. Uh, I am not sure what letter we're up to. PQR, I'm going to assume it's S. Yes, it is. Uh huh. Well. Oh. Trains on the way is less than S. Stanazok O2. Which one is Stanazok O2? That's that one. So that one has triggered probably to supply here. Well, that's fine. Um, hopefully this one triggers and finishes that off for us. Um, so uh, we're getting ore in. That means we need to do something similar to this one. I'll probably do at the top would make more sense just so that we can get the processed variety um, but in this case it's processed cobalt so Vault ore. Vault ore. Perfect. Um, this area. Oh, it is being filled out. Good. And actually, this is giving me back some sand, which is kind of nice. Um, so, process cobalt plus limestone. But actually, it would work better if this went in the other side of these. Yes, it would work a lot better. Um, although now we've, we're wasting space, but I don't think it's going to be that precious. Uh, 
Um, so this one will be the limestone. Uh, there. Limestone and um, not knowing how many of these we might need, I'll leave a little bit of space and then we are building cobalt oxide in chemical furnaces. Okay. Where was the last place we did chemical furnaces? I think I needed them in copper, didn't I? Yes, so chemical furnace. Um, let's just have a couple just in case. Um, and we are trying to make that one. Although, again, maybe it's better on the other side. I'm not sure. In fact, it probably almost certainly is. Um, what sort of numbers are we dealing with? Eight and six. Okay, so we probably want the stack. Insert a variety. You can reach far, which means we don't need that one. Well, we don't need it for now. Um, and how much comes out? 24, that's a lot, good. So, um, next. We don't actually need that much, so I may have already overcooked this. Uh, that was the only difficult thing. Then we combine everything they're slow though, they are very slow. Uh, how many of these are we likely to need? We need 10 per satellite. Um, we need a satellite every couple of minutes or even less than that. So it's like five a minute, even four a minute. Um, yeah, four in total a minute. Uh, let me just check actually where this is used. Satellite. Um, so we need a few extras, maybe. Not really. So four, four or five a minute is actually probably fine. Um, so if it takes 10, se actually if it takes, that's fine. <laughs> 10 seconds is absolutely fine. Uh, right, okay, so I think on the basis of that, we'll have only one of these and we will Direct insert, you are making these guys. Uh, the other things you need are lead, aluminium, and the plutonium. Um, okay, the plutonium. I think the way I'll do this is we'll just have two more of these. One of them will be a joint. Actually, where are we trying to get to? We're trying to get to here. So one of them will be a joint um, plutonium, if I can find where plutonium would be, uh, that one. A joint plutonium, 
lead plate. Lead plate. And the other will be the aluminium. Um, and that is pretty much, uh, yep, that's all four, all four products. We make this one and then, yes, we could have one of these, one of these kind of trains, um, Like that, maybe. Uh, it all fits fairly snugly over here, so. Um, yes, you could argue I've left a lot of space here, but it gives me lots of places for, it's tidy and that we've got lots of spaces for the trains for each part to come in, um, which I think is useful. Uh, and I got another area I need to paint. Um, I have some landfill, just not very much. <laughs> it's all gone. Ah. No, paint this bit. Is there any more landfill down here? Does not appear to be. Uh, you are in this zone as well, aren't you? 14. Uh, okay, good. That should finish this one off. Um, now, I was thinking what I wanted was one of these. Um, so... Uh, maybe it's down here I need to fill in. No, actually, probably I can fit it sort of around this pole. I'm not going to need water there, so that's fine. Um... I probably need one of these. Uh, I may have to make a custom version. Come on, fill in those bits that are in my way. Oh, come on. <laughs> you wait. For... They're not going to do it, are they? Um, but yes, that's that is the that's the general idea to get. Product where we need it. Um, one of those will fill all of that as soon as 
as soon as that's connected. Uh, this guy needs a... Needs a Mark IV pole as well. Um, then we need to finish off these actual orders, so aluminium. Uh, lead plate. Q. Q is lead plate. Um, I did put lead plate there, didn't I? Yes, yes. Um, R is the limestone. And then the raw cobalt ore is S. Um, and we haven't done anything for the plutonium because there's only so many of these that we're actually going to need for the whole game. So I might even just deliver like a thousand plutonium and, um, well, is that going to be enough? It's probably in the vicinity of enough. Uh, how are we doing for time? Let me grab that plutonium and set something in motion now. So, uh, train, come and pick me up. Um, head, head to the nuclear down here, um, yeah, anywhere about there will do. Probably be heading all over the place to get there now. Um, and wait for me, there's no reason for you to run off. Now, um, ew. oh, that's because nothing's, basically there's no action here, right? Yeah. Uh, we only have 825 plutonium. Um, yes, and this one is set to only work if plutonium is less than 500. Um, which given I've just grabbed, how many have I grabbed? I've grabbed 800. Um, that's probably good enough. Uh, I think I probably need more than 800, but for now 800 is probably good enough. Uh, maybe I need to set up a warning up here for when my plutonium doesn't supply enough, but uh, or when I run out of plutonium, I'll get down to the last 50 or something or 100. Um, to know that I probably need to put some more plutonium in. There you go. And yeah, we will. Uh, I don't have one on me. Can I build one? Oh, I have one on me, yes. Okay, good. Um, so, global playback, show alert, uh, plutonium. Plutonium less than a hundred. Alert settings. Um, use that. Um, this. 
that should do. Uh, so that one's done. Um, I'll fill this one in and get it ready for next time. Um, oh yeah, we don't have modules for that. Uh, any sign of the crystal Whoa, we're down to just one needing crystal catalyst. How did that happen? So hopefully that means that zinc is getting created. Um, no. Oh, this thing. Okay, I need to come down here because this is obviously ordering too soon. That's one thing I never did was fix all of these um, but when I altered the capacity of these this is still ordering as though the capacity is only 50 instead of 100,000 so it actually overflows the tank capacity so I need to lower the um, where this reorders um, I'll do that I'll do that offline so um, it's because it's just a basic um, we just change the combinator here at the moment it's got hard coded 240 or something we just make it like 180 anyway i'll do that offline so thanks for joining me look forward to seeing you in the next bye bye for now